Hyperloop is coming to Moscow, Russia. City officials there have signed an agreement with an LA-based company, Hyperloop One, to build this futuristic high-speed transportation system known as Hyperloop One in the Russian capital. Now, the transport, as you guys might know, it involves the, these magnets. Uh, they levitate pods inside an airless tube. We're going to get into this in a second. It's fascinating, but it creates a condition which these pods then float at 750 miles an hour and making travel insanely fast possible. Right. If you're not claustrophobic, so they, they, if you are, this, forget it. This startup or, or, or this company in LA basically took the Hyperloop name from Elon Musk and then called it Hyperloop One. <laughs> the, <laughs> it's well, different. The, it's much different. But they're obviously ahead of the game now because they're, they're, they're pretty, already ta in talks with... Moscow. They're implementing it. So the, the Hyperloop concept that originated awesome. in, in 2013 with Tesla's Elon Musk, we know, and he envisioned this whisking pas passengers about uh, from LA to San Francisco in 30 minutes. That was his goal. And I mean, you can't, if you don't implement an idea, it's fair game, frankly, yeah, exactly. in my opinion. No, and I just, it just makes me think, as I was reading this story and thinking about this device, uh, you think of the pneumatic tube transports, aka the, the thing the at bank. old school banks where you just put your deposit in and it's like, foo! But with actual people, though? Costco still does that. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> my bad, my bad. Um, yeah, so, I mean, it sounds fantastic. It would be great to be able to get from and uh, scary LA well. to SF in, you know, Half 30 minutes, considering you drive, it's like six or seven hours. But, yeah, I could certainly see, you know, people being nervous about being in a tiny tube that's going 750 <laughs> miles an hour. That's crazy. You might say. I would, yeah. I would call it super loop. It was, or you'd have to be a free loop to get on it if you're, okay. <laughs> anyway, uh, the, the co-founder of Hyperloop One, this is what he had to say about the project. He says, our longer term vision is to work with Russia to implement a transformative new Silk Road, a cargo Hyperloop that whisks freight containers from China to Europe in a day. Of course, we're talking about people here, passengers. Um, some speculation in reports, the passenger aspect will be up and running at tw in 2021. We know that Hyperloop One, they have um, the, these back venture capital and railway investors in Finland, Switzerland, Dubai. They're doing this everywhere. I guess I'm interested in the magnet aspect, because you think of these kind of like these bullet trains that are on actual rails, but then, yeah, the idea of magnets being able to, like, I, I think it's awesome, but I'd certainly, we're, we're a little bit far from having it actually come into reality, right? 2021, mm -hmm. maybe? And I'm imagining if, if, you know, Hyperloop One here is talking about long goal plans, them carrying freight, uh, making it, you know, more commercial. This could revolutionize uh, industry. It, 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 it certainly globally. is, right? And, and that's going to change things. But I'm, I'm assuming if, if, if we're going to talk about <laughs> urban cityscapes, uh, to replace a subway, for example, it's not going to have to go 700. No. You don't even have time to accelerate up to 750. You're already at the next station. <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. That's true. Well, we're talking about the Hyperloop. Currently, there isn't any Hyperloop existence existing in the world. Currently, passengers aren't using it. And skeptics, they wonder if this technology could take science fiction to reality. It looks like in one city on the globe, Moscow, they're giving it a try.